Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Amy, if you're brand new to my channel, and of course we are faceless today. As per usual, we're gonna go over my favorite picks of this collection, and I think there's actually gonna be a lot less handbags than I normally talk about. In fact, for this collection, I am actually loving the ready-to-wear, but I know most of you love handbags more, and of course, Chanel makes some of the most coveted handbags, so let's go over them. This one is super cute, cheerling lambskin handbag, and I just love that it is very classic looking, but with a fun twist. We are all pretty much numb to the pricing at this point, so I think I'll just pretty much go by what is still reasonable. And also depending on your collection, you might love things that are different. And if you're just new at Chanel, obviously, try to concentrate on the classics or the minis but otherwise I think these are still worth looking at. Okay there's this really coveted flat bag and it's quite a generous size. I would say this is kind of like a medium small size and I love it because it has these thick chains almost like the 19 design but with a cute sort of briefcase look. I think the price is super reasonable because at these pricing, I mean five in the $5,000 range, we're usually just looking at a minis nowadays. So I think if you love this style, go for it. I actually think it's super cute. Same thing with this one. I actually love this one more because it has more of a contrast. There's a bit of tweed. Look at these details, the little studs. The fact that it's still a regular turn lock flap bag, the fact that it has the beautiful Chanel 19 chain. The only thing is when these straps get older, uh, I'm, they might sort of like flick out more and curl, but that's okay. I mean, this is just a seasonal offering, a seasonal fun bag, and I think this one is super cute with the juxtaposed tweed detailing. I think it's so cute and super reasonable for a Chanel bag nowadays. I'm going to skip over these sequence ones. Um, I'm going to skip over these as well. They're, they're just okay. Like, I'm not super attracted to them. I'm going to skip over these as well. This cute mini is, I don't know, I love the pattern. A bit of pink, a bit of gray, a bit of black. Uh, so if you're after a tweed bag or you just want something different in your collection and you're after a tweed mini, I think it's still super reasonable. And uh, minis are always a good idea, as I say all the time on this channel. Okay, I want to take a look at this flat bag. It's in caviar. I love the color. Gray, obviously. I love the cute chain. And uh, I love the compartment. It just looks quite spacious for this size bag. And the price is still quite reasonable. Chanel is so known for being ridiculously expensive for one season and a lot more reasonable than next. This collection, I generally feel that it's a bit more reasonable price-wise and the designs are quite cute. Okay, I'm gonna skip over these. I'm just personally not super attracted to them, but obviously uh, if you guys wanna look into those, definitely go ahead. The app is always there for you guys to browse this and this is just me walking you through my own thoughts but kind of out loud basically i know this one has been popular on instagram i think this is sort of like a good alternative of a uh, you know micro bag trend this is just the mini version of what we saw earlier uh, the same black one that we saw earlier with the tweed but in a sort of more mini version so i think it's cute i love the white color um, it's still kind of pricey for this size bag, but it is super cute and I, I actually quite like it. <laughs> Not saying that it's worth it, I'm just saying it's cute and if you love it, I think you should just go for it. This is the other size flat bag, gorgeous hunter green color. Like I said, I just love the chain detail. I love that it has this Chanel plaque on it. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, usually I'm not a big, big fan of different types of chains. But this one, I actually don't mind. I actually quite like it. And I love the fact that it's caviar. So for a seasonal bag at these kind of pricings and the size that it is, I think it's reasonable. So I go for it if I actually, you know, like it when I see it in person. This is cute. 
but it's a metallic lambskin, so it's not everyone's cup of tea. But if you love a lambskin and you don't mind the size, um, I mean, the size is not too, too bad. So I'm not particularly wowed by this one, but I think the color is nice. Um, if you like the, the metallic lambskin and if you like Chanel logo detailing on the side, then go for it. I love this Chanel 19, really cute tweed. I find that uh, whenever you see a material and a color that really speaks to you, just go for it. I know that there has been several price increases, but it is what it is. It will still continue. Of course, we can never go back in time, obviously. And so uh, what's worth for you may not be the same for another person. But if you love the print and you cannot stop thinking about it and you think that it's your unicorn, then just get it because otherwise you'll just regret it. That's how I look at it. Love this super cute little calf skin, smooth calf skin flat bag. Price range is okay. It's a seasonal flap, but it's cute. Okay, I love this. I'm not usually someone who is into so black. I, I would never really buy them myself. However, I love that this one is patent as well. So if this is your cup of tea, I say go for it because it is so cool. Again, I'm not a big, big fan of the boy bag, but I just find this color to be extra stunning. This is their new darker gray shade. And of course, Chanel has been, I mean, not just Chanel, every single brand out there, every single fashion house out there has been coming up with shades of gray and they're gorgeous. So if you love a good darker shade of gray, I think this is quite nice. And uh, the small boy is actually quite a nice bag. It's obviously small, but I think with the micro bag trend, the small boy actually makes a ton of sense. Okay, the very infamous classic flop, especially this season, we're seeing it in a different hardware, which is rose gold, something that Chanel never really does or did in the past. If they did, then I didn't know about it. I just think that this is one of a kind and uh, not so sure if they're going to continue on doing this. Of course, rose gold is kind of a trend in a way. It's definitely way more popular now than in the past. Moving right along, I love this color of the Lambskin Chanel 19. Not this size, but I love this color and I feel like this gray is just the perfect shade of gray. For some reason, this current collection, they're doing a couple or if not three different shades of gray depending on the bag and the material. So they actually have this lighter dove gray, which is perfect in my opinion. They also have the much, much darker gray in the um, classic flop that we saw earlier, as well as this boy bag earlier that we saw. I think they have a version of the darker gray in the lambskin for the trendy CC, which is not shown here on the website. And I, I think I also saw um, the Business Affinity, which is not shown on the website. Of course, I've seen it on some of the resellers Instagram account. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a few different shades of gray in different bags this season, which is quite interesting that they would do that. So maybe it's the color green, maybe it's the texture of this, but I love this Deauville tote. I really think that it's the texture of this fabric and the color that really, really drew me to it. And uh, if I were to buy another Deauville, I would just go with this size because the large size was just humongous and ridiculous on me. Last but not least, I wanted to just touch up on this color lambskin of the 19. This green is so gorgeous. If you're a green person or if you love dressing in nudes or in beiges or in just earthy tones, I think this green is the perfect, perfect 19 bag. It's so gorgeous. Let's take a look at costume jewelry, which again, like I mentioned before, they are just getting more and more ridiculously priced. But there were still quite a few pieces that I think are okay to consider. And I'll just mention the ones that I think are quite nice. Like they are just gorgeous, but obviously not worth the price, which these earrings, they are gorgeous, just very princessy and just something different that you don't see Chanel make all the time. I just love the whole pearlescent uh, imitation and just the whole vibe is kind of vintage. I love it, but the price is ridiculous. So I'm not going to buy it, but I love it. I, I mean, 
I did star it. So similarly, this brooch, it is what it is. They are getting more and more expensive. This one too, uh, it comes in a set of two, one smaller and one bigger. It's so cute, but the prices, oh my gosh, they are insanely priced now. Moving right along, I quite like this, just very simple, kind of grungy Chanel design. I mean, they can get away with it, of course. Um, same with this brooch. I actually find this brooch to be quite nice and simple and the price because it comes in a pair. I think it's actually a little bit more reasonable. <laughs> I actually quite like it. Um, sometimes it's just fun to have different size brooches on a denim jacket just to jazz it up. Okay, I'm gonna skip over a few. These ones, they just look classic. Just like every other season, they make a version of these. The price is still reasonable. I actually really like this choker. I think it's just one of those uh, really classic looking ones that is timeless, which is why I think this one is quite reasonable for what it is. Uh, chokers are not ever inexpensive at Chanel, so I think the price is okay. I think the design is great, it's timeless, so if you like this choker, go for it. I, I actually really like it myself. Uh, versus this one. I mean, this one is nice too. It has more of a vibe though. This one has more of a, a grungier, edgier vibe. Whereas the other one, I just think it's more classic, more everyday, or more, more feminine maybe, just more classic. Um, again, these earrings, super cute. Just very, very pricey. This necklace, I love it. It's so nice. It has a more feminine vibe. And uh, let's move right along. I know these earrings are super popular. And um, if it's your cup of tea, go for it. It does come in a different shade as well, which I actually prefer the color of these. They just look a bit brighter. So I tend to prefer this color versus the darker color. Moving right along, I'm gonna skip over these. Again, these earrings, I think if you're gonna get something different this season, I feel like these are pretty fun to get. This one we just talked about earlier. I just like the color of these and I, I find the chains to add to it and the price is not too, too crazy. Um, this necklace actually is quite nice if you like the longer version of it. You know, and you still get the pearly detail, so uh, that's an option. I'm going to skip over more, and I actually quite like these earrings. I just do find them quite expensive for what it is, but I, I do like them. Sometimes I do find that studs do make more of an impact than the dangling ones, even though dangly ones tend to be larger, but the price being more reasonable on these ones and you still get the same sort of princessy effect, the pearlescent detail. I just I just tend to prefer these ones. If I were to get uh, from this line, I would get this one. And uh, that's pretty much it, I think, for jewelry, which is, uh, yeah, not too, too much to talk about. Shoes, okay, this season I actually liked quite a few pairs of shoes this season, which is unlike me. I never really talk about shoes, but I saw a few things that even I myself can wear. I mean, just look at these sandals. <laughs> they are logo plastered, but I just think that they are very comfortable looking. There is a platform, but the actual heel height is not crazy. Um, I mean, the whole heel is six centimeters or 2.4 inches but if you reduce the platform it's actually not that high so I feel like these would be super comfortable I love the logo I mean that's the whole reason why you would pay that much money for a pair of shoes right it's just because of the logo and I do think they look super chic I've seen them on Instagram and um, yeah they just are so good if I were to get a pair of shoes, it would either be those ones or these ones, which are a tiny bit flatter. These are only three centimeter height total. I love the fact that the straps are easy to get in and out of. These boots, however, I think they are super cute. They are the combat boots. So if you're into a good pair of combat boots, I love that it has this logo on the higher part of the ankle. It looks like a super cool pair of boots that 
will, you know, be very long lasting, timeless. Similar with these ones, they are a little bit more feminine, of course, but I love the juxtaposed texture. I love a little bit of the CC logo on the top. Uh, they just look so feminine and just so work appropriate. And then, of course, we have these rubber boots in, um, in French caoutchouc. It's so cool. I'm definitely attracted to them because of the logo. There's no denying that. And um, that's okay. I, I actually quite like them. They're just your typical rain boots in rubber. And yeah, you're paying a bit of money for them, but they are so cool, right? They, they do look very timeless and it does rain quite a bit here in Vancouver. So why not if I really wanted a pair of designer logo rain boots? Uh, these ankle boots, I find them to be really cute just because of the fabric, the juxtaposition. I just think they're very, very timeless and super cute. I love the color gray. And I think that's pretty much it for the shoes. Moving on to small leather goods. So in the past couple seasons, I was quite crazy about their small leather goods. I'm a little bit less crazy about them now, maybe because we've been seeing so many micro bags for such a long time that I feel like there's a bit of fatigue. But nevertheless, let's just go through some of these. Uh, this one is quite cute. It's just the round clutch, not quite as much depth as the one that I own. But I just thought it was cute because of the idea that it has a camellia in front. And usually if you just even look at buying camellias from Chanel, they are quite pricey. So this is kind of a bonus that you get it on a little clutch on chain. For the record, I'm not saying that any of these are worth buying anymore because it is what it is. They don't fit a phone, probably. They'll, they're will they just very novelty. Uh, you are basically buying because you either just fall in love with them or you just love the novelty aspect. So you're really just buying it for the branding and for the novelty aspect, for the cuteness. I don't think they're as practical as you would want them to be. But they're super cute. I mean, look at this cast skin one. I love the little, uh, you know, rounded shape. Uh, it's still very, very roomy. It's just that it won't fit your phone, right? And I love that it has the real turn lock. This one, we've seen something similar in the past seasons. Just a, you know, small vanity that opens up to a mirror. Super cute. Practical? No. Cute very much. This one, what's different about it is the chain and the color. Love the color. Okay, so this one is a bit more practical because of its length. Uh, definitely 18 centimeters, you should be able to fit even your large size phone. So there is a practical side to this clutch on chain. But if we're going to compare cuteness factor with, for example, the earlier one, this one, this one is way cuter, right? So it's practicality versus cuteness. Which one are you after? This one is the same line as the seasonal bag that we saw earlier with a different type of chain and the logo plaque. But essentially, they're all the same designs. I mean, there's really nothing innovative in a sense. They're just repeating the, you know, they're just repeating and recycling the designs every so often. So, of course, the Coco Crush is back in the vanity case. I own this vanity case from the previous season, 21A with the handle. And I have to say this bag is, is quite worth your money if you're... Uh, you know, coming from the point of view of how much it fits, it actually fits as much as the rectangular mini. But the zipper option is definitely fussy. It's not the same as just opening your mini flap and getting in and out of it. So just keep that in mind. Love this little belt bag. Um, I mean, I always love the idea of a belt bag. Whether I wear them is a different story, but I love it. <laughs> I love it because of the idea. And uh, this... Wallet on chains. I never really talk about them. I never bought into one in the past because I would rather buy a mini bag. But now that the whole mini trend has been around for so long, it just seems like wallet on chains are even more relevant because they actually do fit your phones and they actually have more practical purposes. So I don't mind them as much anymore. And I do like this sort of Coco chain design as well. Getting into headwear, there's a few things that I did like from here. Uh, this hair clip is quite nice. 
right? Of course, you're paying for the logo, but uh, I find that these are pretty cute and timeless. And I think that is it. Oh, actually, no, there's this headband too. This headband is quite cute, actually, like a very sophisticated princessy um, little headband. So if you missed out on a previous season headband, because I own this version, let me see if it's still here. I own this version, and I have to say this version is probably the best one I've seen so far, Chanel Meek. Yes, it costs a lot of money, but it's so cool, and it's so iconic, timeless, that um, I made the exception for that reason. Uh, but if you want something more simple, and that's available in store right now, I think this one is quite cute, because you know, bows and ribbons are very Chanel. Earmuffs are essentials for the winter if you live in very harsh winter countries. I'm gonna skip over the scarves because usually with scarves, you have to try it in person to see if you like how it looks on you. But I did want to look at this belt. This belt is quite nice. Uh, you know, it's just the grungier version the season. And I also really like this one. I have this belt in the CC buckle with the crystals. I love that this logo is even more simple. It's still very, very functional as a belt. Cinch it in anything like jacket, dresses, whatnot. Kind of retro, so I quite like it. And the price is super reasonable for a Chanel belt. Last but not least, I really, really thought that this season's ready to wear was super wearable. But not only that, I just thought that the price was much more reasonable this season. Even I was getting a bit sort of, oh my gosh, should I buy it? Should I not? Because the prices seems more reasonable this season. Look at this beautiful classic looking jacket. I know this one is in coral color, but if you got it in a more um, classic color, such as black or cream or whatnot, it's just such a great jacket for the price. I mean, it is expensive, not gonna lie, but I haven't seen a Chanel jacket in a long time that didn't cost at least $8,000 or more. So I thought this wool tweed was super reasonable. Another jacket that I saw that I really liked was this one. So very similar to the previous one. This one is the outer one in uh, like a very dark, almost black burgundy. So this one looks a bit oversized on her. I don't know if it's because she just oversized it to wear as an outerwear. Look at the button detailing. Um, I just think that this jacket is worth looking at if you're gonna go the retail route, you just want something recent from the current collection. I thought those two were quite interesting and uh, worth exploring in my opinion. In terms of dresses, I only saw one that was cute and super reasonably priced, which is this one. A little knit dress and it has a bit of a low going. I just thought that the price was reasonable for what it is because sometimes even if you look at uh, Hermes ready to wear, which is already known to be reasonably priced, they're about the same price except you're getting Chanel, which is a little bit more fashionable, a little bit more trendy. I'm gonna move on to the cardigans and the pullovers. Oh my gosh, I saw so many beautiful little sweaters that are so gorgeous. Look at this one with the exaggerated lapel. And such a good price for the season. I, I mean, I'm not so sure what it is. Not this vest, uh, but the one underneath, which is probably going to show up soon. But look at this cardigan. This is a stunning, stunning cardigan in alpaca and wool. I love the buttons. Look at these buttons. They're the heart-shaped buttons. Just love it and just seems so, so reasonable this season. The prices on these pieces, which normally uh, you would pay so, so much more for Chanel ready to wear. So this is the pullover I wanted to show you earlier, but not the vest, but the actual underneath the uh, underneath sweater here with a little bit of a uh, rolled collar. I love it. This one too. I know it's just a sweater and to some people it makes no sense to pay $3,000 for a sweater, but we're talking Chanel here. So this one just looks very, very classic. Uh, something that you can wear every single winter that keeps you warm. It's cashmere and it's under 3000 before tax, which 
for Chanel territory, it's actually super reasonable. This one too, just a different color. Last but not least, I wanted to show you one jacket that I completely fell in love with, but just wanted to show you the overall, like the overall uh, collection looks like this, but this one jacket I thought was super stunning. I absolutely love the buttons on this wool coat and the whole vibe. It's so cool and elegant. I love a stand-up collar that can hold its own. This whole jacket is just the vibe. If I had the money and if I didn't have another wish list item that costed an arm and a leg, this would be something that I would go after this season because usually at these price points, you usually just are getting a tweed jacket, a very nice tweed jacket, but this is a whole coat. And I thought that the vibe of it just looks so darn cool. I mean, the buttons themselves are just, oh my gosh, the whole look, this whole jacket is so me. Obviously in store, there is going to be more that's available. Let me know what you end up picking up from this collection. Let me know what's your favorite that you've seen. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you back and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.